What up collectors, it's the Clipper King returning for a review on a uh, figure from a company that I've uh, not been lucky enough to ever review before, so I'm going to do that tonight. Before I do, I just want to show you the Spider-Man shelf for a couple of reasons. Firstly, uh, Lee did sell his, go uh, yeah, his Goblin figure, so I've put the uh, Daredevil back in there. Uh, obviously the two Spider-Mans are there. After I finished doing the posing video overnight, the bastard fell off at stand because that clamp's a little bit low, so I ended up changing the pose. So Peter Parker's now posed like that, which I still like, but I thought, fuck, fuck him with camera. I need him balancing his sonat, so he's posed like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, uh, that was just a quick notice, I'm going to clear these out and I'm going to set up the new figure that I'm going to review. Um, it's actually a, a bit of a secret present, I think, from our last, because uh, I found it in somewhere in the house. And it's a 3A, uh, big bollocks, Bertie, Bertie Bassett robot from World War II robots online backslash dot org. Uh, yeah, so it's the uh, chrome silver version. Uh, you can get it in other colours, pretty much every colour it rainbow, but uh, I'm glad to say 3A don't make no remakes, but I'll cover that when I get onto it. So I'll clear these out and I'll get the figure in and talk you through it. Stick with me, brothers. This should make the uh, 3A collectors happy. Uh, Hot Toys fans, Enter Bay fans, stick with me. Right, guys, rolling straight into review. As you can see, it's the uh, Pop Tart Bot from Ashley Woods 3A. Uh, if me, if you can hear excitement in your voice, uh, as you know, I've watched a lot of 3A reviews, and uh, I, I finally want to get to grips with this legendary weathering that I keep hearing about on every single review, four or five times. A minute on most of them but i'm just so glad that i finally got one and like i say it ain't cost me no because well story behind it were i sat on toilet in um, downstairs toilet this morning and uh, i'm having a nice big shit and i looked down to my right hand side and i see our lass has bought me this like i said i'm it weren't box so i'm not exactly sure what it is but i think if i just say every word i know um bertie pop bot robot tomorrow kings um jc uh blah 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 it's the black and chrome version of that i do think so yeah as you can see it stands really well it uh doesn't need no stand it stands on its own really well weathered as you can see and like i say it, it was just sitting there outside the toilet it were um big surprise from our last I'm, I'm thinking so yeah, I'm sat there, I, I guess it out, I couldn't wait to review it, and like I said, the weathering is spectacular on this version, because as you can see, if I get nice and close for you, you can see the weathering on that, and right down sides, and it, you could class that as muck, or a bit of dust, or bathroom fluff, but it's not, it is, it is weathering, and you can see it's got sort of a splash effect kind of thing, which it's really nice, and like a dent, like, as if a kid stood on it or something, but it is part of the... Uh, it is part of how it's supposed to look, but just looking at these sprinkle marks, no, you, you touch them and you feel you feel as though it's on, it's actually on the chrome section, and <sighs> okay, now it smells a little bit like piss to be honest, but I'm sure that's just the uh, the materials they use. But like I said, the things I know about 3A, uh, basically every figure looks like every other figure. Uh, you can't really comment whether they look like who they're supposed to because nobody knows. It's all from one man's mind. So some people might say that that looks like a, a toilet bin, but no, it's definitely a robot. Um, the other guys, the soldiers, look pretty good with the zombie heads and the one accessory with them. So, um, yeah, awesome. And like I say, I can't forget to mention weathering because when it comes down to a 60, 70, 80 pound figure, the most important thing about it is that it looks like it's been dragged through a fucking edge backwards as we all know that's top priority but anyway the good thing about 3a as well is i know that they don't remake figures like hot toys do because i know we've got about four or five six maybe different iron man versions but 3a don't do that sort of thing they're really good to the uh, customer and especially if you can pick them up nice and cheap from bambi land um they don't only sell deers it's uh, you can order it and in in about 24 months time your figure should come so yeah that's that's bambiland.com backslash dot uh, co.uk backslash org so if you go on to that uh, you should find the figure you're looking for um 
But anyway, the uh, exclusiveness of these figures. Oh, let me just mention another word that I, I don't want to miss. Weathering. Don't forget the weathering, boys. When you when you watching a review like this, it's got to be really well weathered. But uh, yeah, what I'm going to say. Oh no, they don't do no remakes like uh, Hot Toys do. But you can actually get this one, this exactly same um, robot. You can get it in black and chrome, chrome and black, red and chrome, chrome and red, green and chrome, blue and chrome, chrome and chrome, blue and blue, red and green. Uh, pink and purple, purple and pink, orange and black, and about 30 other different colours. So that is the good thing, because if you've got one, pretty much you've got the exact same robot as somebody else, only coloured slightly different. So yeah, they're really exclusive. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's look at the articulation on it. As you can see, it doesn't appear to have any arms or legs or even a face. But if you, if you press this trick button at the bottom here, it does have a mouth. Look, if it, oh, it's a bit stiff, it's, it's no, as you can tell. Press it down and it, it has a mouth and the head pops up, which is really revolutionary. Uh, Ashley Wood, you can only trust someone like Ashley Wood to think of something like that because if they'd have come up with designs like that before, they could have pedal bins or anything, you know what I mean? But no, it's just like I say, the articulation, it's a bit stiff because it's new, but uh, yeah, it's really nice. And the good thing about it is, all the accessories you get with it are actually inside. So I'm gonna put a shortcut in here and I'm gonna come back to the accessories that were inside the uh, Pop Bot, Pop Tart, um, Bertie Bassett, Robot.com, uh, World War Three Tamara King thingy. Uh, stick with me, brothers. Right, moving on. Uh, one thing I never realized, if you open the uh, Bertie Bassett up, you realize inside you do get a free smaller version, but this one is actually the uh, black on black plastic which actually comes with this rather natty handle so it's easy to take one out over so well done to Ashley Wooden 3A on that because our toys won't think of something as uh, as revolutionary as that so looking at his accessories basically inside him you got this it's made of cardboard it's a tube there's no handle on it no markings or anything the weathering is awesome as you would expect from 3A and I think basically what that is is the rocket launcher I don't know where you would attach that because obviously it's got no arms or uh, anything like that but yeah it's it's a really nice piece and there's no weight to it at all it feels like it cost about 30 pence to make but uh, I'm really glad they put it in so I'm just going to store that back inside um, like I said there's, uh, there's no arms for me to put it inside so yeah you get the rocket launcher you get this uh, I think it's a battle axe uh, again, I, I don't know where you would put it. You'd probably just glue it to the side of the robot. But uh, yeah, it does again, it's weathered. The blades look blunt like it's been in battle. So yeah, really nice touch. Got the uh, awesome paintwork on the uh, laser sign there. So yeah, get that as well. You get this, which uh, it actually, there's articulation through this. It actually looks like it's some kind of... Um, like a sheath for a sword of some kind I don't know or his club I don't know I can't open it one either but yeah you get that I think you would like attach that to the side and then put his club on the inside of that uh, so that's a really nice piece then you also get um, and it's uh, I think it's a white flag if he surrenders or whatever so I, I'm not really sure on that uh, but you got that as well and also one thing I can't figure out it just looks like this this sweet wrapper so I'm, if anybody's got this figure and they can tell me what that's for. What are you doing with Finn out of the bathroom? You what? What are you doing with Finn out of the bathroom? What do you mean bin out of the bathroom? That's the bin out of the bathroom. Uh, just going to put a short pause in here, boys. Just stick with me one second. Uh, sorry about that interruption, brothers. It seems that there's been a bit of a uh, misunderstanding. It turns out our last had not bought me a Bertie Bassett World War Robot backslash org uh, dot com Tamara King. Uh, JC and Jojo um, so I just have to show you this um, but it turns out it was just a uh, pedal bin from downstairs toilet but I got confused with a 3A um, robot so sorry about that um, I feel such a fool uh, all there's left to say is this is the Clipper King and I'm out of here <laughs>